There you are again. Here you are again. <laughs> Here we are again. Yeah. How are things? Great. Nothing but hey, nothing less but sheer greatness. Do you ever get do you ever get down? Do you ever get depressed? Why would I? <laughs> hey, you're human. For what? No. Hey, it's not about that. It's about every day you're gonna go through struggles, man. Every day somebody's gonna test you. Somebody's gonna put you through a test. Whether that's people or that's God. Are you religious? In a sense. Yeah, in a sense. I feel like uh I feel like the Bible was man-made, you know? The original Bible, you can't, nobody knows what that shit says. Nobody. All they know is what's, what's been given to them. Why aren't we all under one accord? Why is there nine different religions, 10 different religions? Muslim, Catholic, Christian, Mormon. Why aren't we under one flag? Why is it that the people or whoever this may be separate us into haves and have nots almost. What you think, Mark? Yeah, no, I think religion's a great way to separate people. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna separate myself from nobody. No. Who makes us any better than these people that are outside this door, man? They, listen, they need to stop treating these people like rodents start treating them like people, they might start acting. I think if we all treated each other with dignity and respect, it would change a lot of things. They would all, Mark, they would all stop treating people like that. Start treating them like people versus treating them like rodents. You wonder why they act like that. People only act the way they're treated, man. I'm a firm believer in that. I get it that people try to say that uh, you can Build your own destiny, build your own fate. No, man, it takes a helping hand from the people that are around you. As simple as your mother and your father. Who he plays perfect in this world? Who he, Mark? Who plays perfect, man? I can live in the best neighborhood in the world I've seen your average, I'm talking about looks like they've never done nothing in their entire life. You think they don't got any skeletons in their closet? Hell, you got skeletons in your closet, we all do. Everybody, man, has a sense of some type of darkness or a sense of some bullshit that somebody made up. It's all labels, man. You're bad because they labeled you bad. No, this is life, we all are gonna go through life. When are we going to wake the fuck up? You know, I was, uh, I was talking to somebody this morning, you know, and I, uh, I got uh, extradited on a charge one time and I was, was headed down south. And uh, I told him, you know, it's crazy because I was sitting next to this this big, I'm talking about this big white man shit. I don't know if he was racist or not, but I know me and him was stuck on this bus for the next seven days. This little ass van. This little ass van, man. And we sitting next to each other on this bench and we're shackled up for the next seven, eight days until you know, because pickups were more important than drop-offs. So you know, they had only a certain amount of time to pick you up. It was never really no set time when they drop you off. So long story short, I'm sitting there with this man and uh, We've been riding for like three, four days at this point. You know, we tired. And this is a white man, I don't know if he racist, I don't know if he even like niggas or anybody that's even in the same skin color as me, but I told him, listen, man, we tired. You wanna use my shoulder for a couple hours, I use your shoulder for a couple hours. And we work that out just so we can get some type of rest. Maybe me and this man, we, and I've never seen him again ever a day in my life. But at that given moment, we were able to separate color, we were able to separate who has what money, who has the most this, the most that, and we were able to come together. Just two people. And lean on one another. Just two people. Just two people, man. 
Just two people. We don't know each other from Adam to Eve. Hell, we, me and him can already understand that we probably never see each other again a day in our lives. So your parents were mixed, black and white? Yeah. Mom my, was, dad, my dad was black, my mom was white. And you, were, you see yourself as either or just some mixed? I mean, to be honest, being a mixed man, you know you'll never be too much white for the white crowd. You'll never be too much black for the black crowd. So maybe that's where I tried to find my own happy medium. I don't want to go the way everyone else is going. I want to go my way. I'm, I'm glad that God blessed me with that gift to be able to have the, enough courage and what you would say charisma to go my way, to go my way. Doesn't matter what I do, these are labels, man. These are labels that the community and society has made to make it see fit, to make sense of it. You never make sense of life, man. All you can do is continue to keep going and to continue to keep learning. It's the problem with people. They don't, they're not willing to learn anything anymore. When someone like myself can possibly come and spread awareness. I see it in the comments on the, on the, on the videos on my channel where people will make these comments stating facts about people they, they're making guess, guesses about. And anytime you're stating a fact, like saying you are a good guy or a bad guy or whatever, we really don't know about any of it. Ask me, okay, well, you know what's so called is because people make all these assumptions, right? And I'm about to use your question as a good standpoint here. People make all these assumptions, but they never just ask, right. just like you did right now. They don't know. So are you asking me, so, so are you asking me, am I, do I feel? It's not even about what I feel, but are you asking me, am I a good guy or a bad guy? No, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even think about it. Yeah. Because you're probably both like I am. We're all both <laughs> at different times of the day, week, year, month, whatever. Who's good? Who more? I mean, you try, you, try, you, you, you try to do some good things in your life. Yeah, you know some, you, I'm sure you know some, some very great men in your life as well as I do. Who's perfect, man? Who, who do you know, man, that don't have not at least one flaw, one flaw in their life? We can't act like we've fucking been here before, man. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's cut the drag, okay? Let's cut the bullshit. Let's not act like we've been here. I know I haven't. I'm willing to learn every day. That's why my mind expands the way it does. I sit and spend, I sit and spend a lot of time by myself, Mark. A lot of time. To where I get to enlighten even myself. I love to learn. Why don't people? Yeah, that's that people appetite. want to learn anymore. It's that appetite for learning that makes you grow and in, makes, makes you unique. Makes you interesting. Yeah, it makes you unique. Fuck interesting. And then you're also you, you like I. I think you, you, we think for their, for ourselves. I like I, I never listened. I, my entire life, I never listened to anyone else telling me how things are. Would you consider that a character flaw? No, it's the opposite. Exactly. It's the opposite. Exactly. No, it's like, you know, when, just because everybody's doing something, does you know, it almost was a sign that you shouldn't do that in my book. Fuck with you, Mark. <laughs> I do, bro. <laughs> Fuck with you. You're, you're an interesting dude because probably more than anybody on my channel, you get positive comments and negative comments both. Yeah. Some people think you're the greatest thing that ever walked the earth. You're amazing and interesting. And other people think you're you're awful and evil and all that. And I get the same thing. Yeah. And that's pure gold. Yeah. I think that's pure gold. It just makes you interesting. You know, I never really fed off of it in a uh, term to where I feel like it's a sense of fame. I feed off of it to where just to let them know that I truly don't give a fuck, church. I don't give two fucks, three if they really need it. 
don't care what they think. I say this, right? If uh, the world ended tomorrow, and they took these tapes and they took everything that ever meant to this fucking world, they stuffed it all in a box, right? I want them that the newfound glory of people or whoever the fuck it is that comes about, right? I want them to be able to find this tape right here. This tape right here. And let them know that there was still some people who thought like this before you got here. No matter what I do, no matter what I do, what I've done, did, does that really fucking matter, Mark? I don't think so. I don't think it matters not one bit. What matters is what we did before anything in our lives. Anything. What we did. It's not about where you went to the next bar, you went playing around, you went just trying to Go through your life and just know, make it meaningful. Make it legendary. It's not about the money for me. It's not about the money. To me, being legendary is bringing truth. because I'm already noticing out in this world, people are already having this, they're already forgetting. They away with it. They don't even remember it anymore. You know what they do? They put it on a tape and they store it in a vault. Mm -hmm. who, who they don't had, remember it and carry it. Who, who had the most impact on you as a kid? people who were trying to do the more than their living status. Having a sense of charisma or a sense of courage to understand that, yeah, we're, we're living fucked up, but it doesn't mean that we have to drown in our sorrow. How many people have you met from Skid Row Church that drowned in their sorrow? Huh? They drown in it, man, saturate themselves in it. They bathe in it, that's what they clean themselves in. They clean themselves daily with it. I've been there, man, slept in cars. I've done all that. That don't mean shit. It don't mean a fucking thing. Why do you think I'm not here to tell you where I've been? I'm here to tell you where I'm going, baby. I'm here to tell you where I'm going. You think nobody out here, nobody, I don't give a fuck if it's you, it's me, none of us have, have, a, have had a breaking point to where it gets fucked up. It's what you do to come out of it. Remember when I said back in the first, I think it was the first one I said something about man, crabs in a bucket, right? We're all just trying to get out. Crabs never get out the bucket, man. Transform yourself. That's a gift that we all have. We all lose it, though, somewhere down the line. But you know what? You got to learn how to go get it back. That's what makes you strong. Go and get it back. <laughs> go have to do a T-shirt with your crabs in the bucket quote. Hey, man. I, listen, I, I promise you, I never started to do these interviews to sell merch, to gain any money. It's not about gaining money. It's about spreading awareness that not everybody is playing. Said it before and I'll say that again. Not everybody's playing. Not everybody is your perfect idiot. You're a perfect idiot running around. No. God made millions and billions of people for a reason. He, he's trying to get it right even himself. He's trying to get it right even himself.
No one's perfect, man. That was the case he would have left it to Adam and Eve. No one's perfect. What, what mistakes have you made that you've learned from in your life? You remember when I said, uh, do what makes you happy. Don't, don't do something for somebody because it appeases them at the time. And I fell victim to that myself at my early years, you know, in my life. Doing something. I learned that with parents and just doing something they want you. It's as simple as that, man. You know, that's not a mama issue or a daddy issue. I'm kind of glad that I got that lesson because it helped me out later on down the long run. Even though I don't fuck with my mama, thank you and I love you because you made me something that's not to be fucked with. Where'd you get your personality? From mom or dad or somebody else? Or, for, or from life, on your man. Own? Life, no one gets there. Listen to me, man. You look like your mama and your daddy. You die like the decisions, looking like the decisions that you made. You'll never die looking like them or anything that they had in a trait. No, man, this is on you. You're just born looking like them. This is your choice. Mark, when you die, no one's going to say, oh, well, he did this like his mom or he did this like his dad. Guess what? They're going to talk about it. only you. Only you. Who do you think they're going to talk? They ain't going to talk about your parents. Mm -hmm. Half the motherfuckers is going to be at your funeral and ain't going to know your parents to even talk about them. They're only going to talk about you, whether it was your good or your bad. You die looking like the decisions that you made. You never die looking like your parents. You're only born looking like them. Let's talk about the game a little bit. <clears throat> what, what are the, what's the biggest misconception about this game of pimps and hoes that you play around in? It's not really about what I play around in, it's what I've observed throughout my time. Of having to deal with people, you know, and I understand that times change. Times change, shit, hell, cell phones change, right? You know, they go from one year to another. But there were certain things that still had code to them, Mark. Still had structure, had fucking body, you know? Now it gets watered down like a soda that you left in the car with a bunch of ice in it. And now it's got that whole clear part at the top and you take a sip and you try to get down to the sugary part of it, then it's no longer there. But I think my question is kind of, you know, a lot of people make the assumption, probably incorrect assumption that it's all about guys exploiting women, simple as that. It's not about that, man. Exploiting. That's what I'm saying. So people exploit every day. Hell, Pepsi exploits. Yeah, I know, but Coca-Cola exploits. But I, 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 we, I'd love to hear your explanation of how how that misconception is. Listen, what, what it looks like in reality. I'll say this. This, and I've said this before, man. It used to be a secret society, man. It was ninjas in the making. You never saw them. You never saw us. You never heard the things that you see. People getting years and beating women, burning women, uh, just doing cruel things to people. That's n nowhere near part of the game, Mark. Nor has it ever been. People took that terminology. You know, I start to see that a lot of people that like to hurt people or misuse people they use the game as a as a reason of why they're doing this to this person and that's not okay if that makes any sense that's not okay beating this woman though this is just really how you wanted to be because you had issues but people use the game as a crutch 
People use the game as a crush on, well, this is why I do it to you because I'm this, or this is why I do it to you because I'm that. No, you do that because you're a fucked up individual. That's what you want to do. It's what you chose to do. That's what's nasty. It's not me. That's what's nasty. I'm free spirited, baby. Oh, I'm, this heart runs free. However it needs to be. However it needs to be. This spirit runs free. And let's not ever get that fucked up when they want to sit there and say, oh, in the tabloids and, you know, people talk about men, they put me on all types of different sites and shit like that, whether it's good or bad, you know, and it don't make me none. I'm here to tell my story because guess what? When you open up my book, I'm the illustrator, the editor, publisher, I'm everything in the book of my life. They can't tell me shit. Fuck them. I said before, Mark, suck my balls. <laughs> Through. <laughs> no, the reason I asked that question is because I'll read something like that. The com- draws. <laughs> the reason I'll ask that question is because I'll see some comments sometimes on your videos mm-hmm. saying things that are probably r- very out of line with who you really are. Because mm-hmm. I've talked with your girls. I've talked. I, I see how you operate. I don't think you're anywhere near what they're thinking no. you are. Yeah, well, I know about the girl part and the extra shit, but you've talked to me, you know. You've watched what me and you've done throughout this time. Hopefully we got a couple more to come. We'll keep it moving, man. Keep it solid. Hey, man, I stand up for society. Never hurt nobody. Doesn't matter how I dress, what I drink out of, what I smoke, none of that. You got way worse people in the world, man, that stand with collar, tie, and everything, with glasses, fixing them, acting nerdy, that's doing us evil. So please don't put it on my back. Don't put it on my back. Love politics, too. That's, that's, I watch the news, too, every day. That's probably the most interesting thing you said, and probably the truest thing you've said. In I'm story. just being honest, yeah, man. I think you're right. You don't think you got gang members and pimps and fucking drug dealers and everything throughout this? Through, and we don't even need to go there because I don't want them to target me. I don't want them to do me like Johnny Carson or people that spoke up in the past or Martin Luther King. I don't want them to do that, man. They shunned us a long time ago, man. Anything that was like me that was created was to help the community, my man. It was never to hurt it. But you know, the government had to have a fall guy someday. They had to paint an ugly picture for something. That's what gets it off their back. I think a lot of people are very uncomfortable with prostitution in general. And rather than putting away a bunch of girls that are working the streets, they decided that putting away a lot of the guys that are. Granted, right? Granted. That's what they do. Slave years. 400 years. 500 years. 600 years. I don't know. It just goes on and on, man. I, they don't surprise me anymore when, they say, in what they hand out. It doesn't surprise me anymore, even though those numbers are fucking outlandish. What does Kenny call them? Football numbers? Bro, <laughs> further than that, we're talking about baseball numbers. Major leagues. But 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 I will say this that you know I understand guys like you and Kenny Red and the Bishop and 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 a lot of, a lot of the respected guys in the game live in a very different level than these guys that are what we call tennis show pimps or, or hole hustlers that are just down the street selling girls that, that are doing this kind of work. I'm titling them all pimps, but to some people's definition. Tennis shoe pimp is a state of, listen, when I, when I talked about tennis shoe pimping, when you had asked me that question before, you had said something about, uh, what do you think about all these tennis shoe pimps? Well, one of the girls I interviewed called them whole hustlers, which is a great term. But to me, tennis shoe pimping is a state of mind. It's not what you necessarily have on your feet. It's a state of mind. It's a way that you live. You hustle for a few dollars a day. To me, what I've seen lately is, and this is just me watching from the outside. I don't, I'm nowhere, baby. 
Nowhere but Delaware. <laughs> what do I know? But the things that I see from afar is motherfuckers out here doing it for a style or a, a fad. It's more of a style, like how much are you doing this for the style or are you doing it so you can do it for a better life? To get moving. We can't do it forever. We can't do it forever, man. So to sit there, and I'm, I'm talking to the ones that inspire to be around it or move and groove. Hey, church, if you're going to do it, man, you got to do it right, man. Don't be playing with it. Zip up. I think guys like you and me both. Zip your, zip, hey, church, zip your pants up and stand up for what you mean. I think guys like you and me both long for the days of the Yeah, seven, but, but Mark, you can't be zipping your pants down. You got to zip it up, church, so she can really see what you're talking about, man. Because, see, she know that there's, listen, a woman can get dick from anywhere. A man can't get pussy from anywhere. And if he does, he got to pay for it. But a woman can get it for free at any given time. So when do we learn to get it up for real and have that better understanding? Gotta zip it up, man. Let her like you and fuck with you from your mind. Not from, oh, I can spend this. Oh, well, I can do this. No, let her like you from your mind, brother. If that's a woman you're trying to wife or be a uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Keep it in that entity. Don't try to cross over to everybody else's because see, there's going to be people like me that like a lot of elbow space and there's no room for you. Not if you plan. There's no room for you, Jer. You been in love before? I, yeah, yeah. You know how I know? You know how I know I've been in love? Huh. I fall in love every day, every day. You know what with? Life. Cause I don't have to be here. God could take me right now. God could take me right now. Hell yeah, I've been in love. I'm in love every day with life. You've been in love with a woman before? Have I ever been in love with a woman? Mm -hmm. Love whatever me and her could ever be. Have you ever been in love with a woman? Thought you have? Okay then. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that don't mean nothing. I'm not sure we're saying the same Until, thing. No, I'm saying the exact same thing that you're saying. You just don't know it. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't felt it yet. You haven't seen it. Never given a woman your all, your many, everything. Hey, listen, okay? Many times. I'm going to say this. Too many times. I'm going to say this. And I don't even be wanting to talk about But there's a, a famous lawyer, right, that people know, because I don't want to talk about nobody's name, because I ain't going to have nobody suing me. But, uh, there was a famous lawyer that had a wife that we all know today that had kids that they're all famous today. And this man took care of her. This man took care of her, paid her rent, paid her life. She never had to work for nothing. She never had to clean for nothing, treated her right. And the mother, man, the woman still cheated. She still cheated after everything. There was never no bullshit to where it was anything said about him. Nothing. He passed away. He, he was deceased. There was nothing ever bad ever said about this man. But while she was with him, she still cheated. What's that tell you? So that means you could be good, you could be bad. The bitch gonna be the bitch. The bitch gonna be the bitch, man. All you can do is just be you. Be who you really are. It goes back to say, don't change up to be with somebody. Be you. Because if they fuck with you, they're going to fuck with you. At least you won't feel bad, church, when you find out the dirty Harry. Ha! Huh. Because don't it always come? You've had your heart broke more than you've been in love, boy. <laughs> and count it up. Yeah, no, look think, up real I, quick. I think, I, think the same, you, I think the number is the same. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're... Oh, man, trust me. It outweighs, hey, man, love is love. Shouldn't, ha shouldn't happen too many times. No, it shouldn't. Shouldn't, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe three, so four. So your nine. calculation is very off. Three, four in a lifetime. Mind. Yeah, so your calculation is very off for me. 
Because love shouldn't happen too many times. Shouldn't happen too many times, sir. What's been going on with you, man? Talk to me. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah. Having fun. What you been up to lately? I was in this last week. Tried yeah. to see you, but we didn't get together. But you came yeah. out here. Was busy. You like? You gonna stay in? No, I've been uh, been staying up in uh, Delaware, in the mountains. <laughs> I think I think there's gonna be big things. It's been for you. nice up there. I've been raising llamas. <laughs> I think there's gonna be big things for your future. Think so? Yep. Yeah. It's nice. Hopefully. You want to talk about what you have up your sleeve, or we're we gonna keep it a surprise? I say, uh, keep it a surprise. Yeah, I say, I say keep it a surprise. I think so too. Yeah. I think so. I'm happy for you though. Yeah. Yeah. You, what des- you, think? you deserve you think it. I'm, yeah. You deserve it. It's gonna be nice. It's nice to see a Detroit boy do good. <laughs> you know, I wish uh, I wish uh, would have knew what it was like uh, growing up around there for real, man. You know, I got a lot of family from there and everything. You know, and I've, I've talked to them throughout the years and shit like that. You know, and I've, I've been around there. I've fucked around, but it ain't nothing like being from the West. I love this shit, man. I bleed this shit every day. I love being from where I'm from. I like yeah. both. Yeah? Like, I, I relate really deeply to being a Chicagoan and a Detroiter. And then hey, I love California. You, you know what I noticed? It, uh... It makes you who you are. Mm-hmm. Going different places, man. Bouncing, you know, you can't. You can't really pick your life, Mark. You can't pick how it's gonna land for you. Yeah, they they try to say, oh, you go to school, you do this, right? You do that. You ever notice motherfuckers go to hey, motherfuckers go to school, talk about they got college degrees I would to keep. I would no, dis- but listen, I would disagree li- with that. I think you can totally listen, pick your life. but listen to this. Motherfuckers that got college degrees, right? Catch themselves getting job after job after job after job after job. But want to talk bad about somebody. Yeah, that's what I catch. If you want to know how I feel about it. Motherfuckers who sit there and say, oh, I got college degrees. Oh, I got a career. Yeah, but you catch yourself working deadbeat jobs still. So what did that all do for you? Nothing. You catch yourself over in this hand, there's nothing. You catch yourself over here in this hand, it's nothing. You put them together. (laughs) Fucking stop playing yourself in life. I'm sorry, but I have to say it. It's just in me, man, and not on me. It really is, and it don't fucking matter what I do how I've gotten down, that ain't what they're interested in. They're interested in how I made it out. How did he from somewhere so low? That's what it is. That's what burns inside him, baby. I'm dead ass serious. Laugh, Mark. No, I think, you're, I think. I'm for, no, I'm, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. Don't even play, because I'm for real, and you and I both know it, because they've watched it. They've watched it in the making. They're gonna watch a little bit more. Yeah, no, you got you got a long long road ahead of you, I think. Oh man, a lot of interesting things coming from your way. I think. Yes, I do. But but I disagree with you about you can't like make your own life, or, and it's all laid out for you. I, I believe you can totally change the direction of your life. You could change the You're direction. Doing You're doing it. But you know what? A lot of people don't know how to do it from ground base. No, they don't. For sure. That's the problem. Yeah. They don't know how to do it from ground base. It's a selective few. Mm-hmm. I'm one of those selective few. Yes, and you, you know, are. I'm going to embark on that, that journey. It's a fraction of a window that God or anybody else will give you in life. No one to take it. No one to take it, cherish it, and keep it forever. Boy, you were one of the realists. You ain't with nobody phony. And I ain't never told no lie. All right, Sharp. Interesting as always. I'll see you again. Can't wait. Yeah. You're always fun. You get more fun, in fact. This, this, is, a, this is a good one.
Yeah. You're getting better and sharper all the time. <laughs> all right, man. Good seeing you. You too. Thank you, man. Cheers.